Official results are trickling in from Sri Lanka's parliamentary election. So far, three districts have released their counts. President Gotabia Rajapaksa's SLPP party is leading nationally with more than 68% of the vote. Final results are expected later tonight. President Rajapaksa is hoping to install his older brother Mahinda as prime minister. They're hoping for a two-thirds majority in the 225-seat parliament. That would allow them to change constitutional limits on the president's powers. Darshana Kumara joins us live uh, for more on this. Uh, Darshana, uh, more results uh, coming in this hour. Is President Rajapaksa's party in prime position to clinch victory? Yes, of course, uh, because uh, as per the uh, election results out for now, uh, President uh, Rajapaksa's party, Sri Lanka, Podujana Peramona, SLPP, is uh, getting around 70% of uh, votes and uh, as you said uh, right now it is around 68 percent and uh, other uh, major political parties particularly Samagi Jana Balabi here it was uh, uh, created very newly by uh, former opposition leader Sajit Premadasa uh, and it, it, it is uh, it is having only um, uh, 17 percent uh, uh, presence in the uh, election results and uh, uh, the, there's a fairly salient feature is that uh, the brand all party uh, one of oldest parties of Sri Lanka the UNP is receiving only around three percent of uh, votes because it used to be the uh, biggest party in Sri Lanka for a long time and uh, uh, the previous uh, prime minister also uh, uh, Ranit Vikram Singh is le currently leading the UNP. Uh, he uh, he governed the country for many times, uh, representing the UNP. Right now, UNP is only receiving three percent of all the votes. Uh, this time, the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna, the uh, President Rajapaksa's uh, political party, was promising about the change in the constitution. Because uh, particularly they want to amend the 19th, uh, 19th Amendment to the Constitution and they want to scrap that thing. And uh, they, they are thinking of uh, bringing uh, uh, either uh, constitutional changes or a new constitution. But uh, to make that a law uh, in Sri Lanka, they need a two-third two majority. Uh, for that thing, uh, the SLPP will have to get uh, around 150, more than 150 seats out of the total number of parliament seats. But uh, it will not be possible with the current pace of the uh, election results getting right now. Uh, uh, according to the national organizer of the Sri Lanka Podujana Peramuna, he predicted that they will only get around 135 uh, to 30, uh, 37 uh, uh, parliamentary seats. Therefore, they will have to seek the support of other political parties to obtain two-third majority in the parliament and uh, having the constitutional changes. Right, Therefore, indeed. Uh, so we will have to wait for yes. the results to come out this evening. But thank you so much for that update. We've been speaking with Dashana Kuma from Colombo on Sri Lanka's parliamentary elections.